This will be the first video in a short series for beginners. This one will address things to do at the beginning of the game, clans, and a brief overview of classes. Now before I begin, I'd just like to say that I am not an expert. Despite making these videos, I ask a lot of questions and I'll provide links at the bottom of the uh, description for places where I go when I'm asking these questions. So the first thing you should do when you start is get a migration code. The way this game works is all of your info, all of your levels, your equipment, everything gets stored on the game's servers. However, if something catastrophic happens to the device you're playing on, you re-download the app, you open it up, suddenly your information isn't there. You can retrieve it by having your hunter ID and using the migration code as a password. In the event that you don't have a migration code, the only way the game support will help you retrieve your account is if you can prove ownership through a purchase history. That is, you bought crystals for the lotto with real-world currency. Then that will prove that you own the account. Just linking your account to get the newsletter and stuff is not enough to prove ownership. So to get a migration code, go to Menu, then Others, and then the button Migration Code. I'm not going to press it because the very next screen will show you both my Hunter ID and my migration code, and with that code you could steal my account. So never show your code to anyone else, or they can steal your account. Uh, there are a couple of different ways you can save it. You can either write it down manually and put it in a safe place. You can take a screenshot of it, although I would then uh, at least upload that picture to your computer so that you can save it that way so that if something happens to your phone or your tablet, you still have it and it's not lost with your device. And then there's an option to email it to yourself, which is what I used. As far as I know, the migration code is static. Once you get it, it will stay the same. Uh, mine has not changed despite progressing through the story. Now when you first start the game, you're going to be called Novice and you're going to look like all of the other people who just started the game. The only way to change that is to keep progressing through the story. Eventually you'll get a quest to go to the guild hall to register as a hunter and that will allow you to pick a name and give you a character creation screen where you can pick your gender and your facial expression. All of your clothes and everything can be changed whenever you want under the equipment tab and I'll go over that in my equipment video. Now once you pick your name and your gender you cannot change them so make sure that what you pick is what you want because you can't go back and change it later. Once you get through chapter 3 you will get the ability to join a clan. Now a lot of people will skip through tutorials, so I will go over quickly what to do with the clan. So before you join a clan, this screen will be blank, and you'll instead have some options to look through different clans and join them. You can select to auto-join a clan, where the game will just pick one that has an opening in it for you to join, or you can actually search through the clans and see what they want. Most will be relaxed, all welcome, other people. Uh, like Sanctuary here, they want veterans, they focus on item questing, uh, Aura, all are welcome, but they are event focused, and you'll see now that they have 12 out of 12 members, so they're full anyway. Each clan has a 12 member cap. And then some will say they want tacticians, although I do not see one on there at the moment. Some want veterans, some want beginners, most will probably say there are uh, all welcome. And it, this one says it's closed. I believe that means you have to submit an application. It won't let you join just by clicking the button. Now on your clan screen it will list a clan master and a clan ace. The clan master is the person who started the clan. In order to start a clan you need 5 million poro. There's a 10 million poro cap so right now it would take me half of my money to uh, start a new clan if I wanted. There aren't very many uses for Poro at the moment. Uh, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is the Avatar Lotto where you can get things like the cat head to wear. 
and I'll be going over Lotto uh, more in my equipment video. The ace character that you see on your clan member screen is whoever has the most contribution points in your clan. Contribution points are gotten through your player versus player events uh, for the current military training event going on right now. You need a thousand PVP points in order to get one clan contribution point. In the event that more than one person has the most points, then the ace will be listed as whoever joined the clan first among those people. In the event that your clan is brand new, then nobody has any points. The ace will be listed as whoever joined the clan second. Within the clan page, you'll also see missions. And you'll see that my clan has already completed all of our missions today. Today's missions, uh, the missions will always include Fuse, Drawing from the Lotto, and Defeating Enemies in the Rushmere Continent, and then usually the fourth mission will have to do with whatever trials are available for the day, although I've noticed that whenever there's a major update, uh, the mission does not always correspond with that day's trials. Now I'm going to go over classes. Currently there are three tiers of classes. When you first finish your novice tutorial, you will have the fighter class unlocked. And by completing quests, you'll quickly unlock ranger, knight, priest, and magician as well. Now tier two, you have to have the corresponding tier one job to level five. And then you will get a hunter quest to unlock the next job. And those will be Rook, Paladin, Mercenary, Bishop, and Warlock. Tier 3, Samurai, is the only Tier 3 job you get by completing a scenario quest. The others are all on a tutorial, when I or on a rotation. When I first started playing the game a couple of weeks ago, they were wrapping up Necromancer. Last week was Crusader, and this week has been Breaker. And you'll find those listed under the Special tab, all the way at the bottom. Breaker's Reincarnation is the job, or will unlock the job. And then Breaker's Trials will allow you to get more equipment for that job. And when you click on it, you'll see there's an ideal power level. Now in order to get Breaker, I believe you have to have mercenary unlocked to a certain level. But my mercenary was already maxed out when I did that, so I'm not entirely sure. There's also been an assassin class announced. It has not been released yet. I do not know when the release date is, but somebody uh, out there probably does know because they read news and announcements more than I do. And I think that will end up being a tier 4 class because on the wiki for the game, uh, the tier 3 page looks like it's full, and there's an empty tier 4 page. But I could be wrong, it could be another tier 3 job. Uh, the next video will include quests and equipment. I see a lot of people always asking, how do I get stronger, how do I raise my power level, and that will help address some of that, I hope that you guys found all of this useful.